windowing and view porting so first we are going to see what is mean by window and what is mean by view port so window refers to the area in the word space or word coordinate that you wish to project onto the screen now this is the entire screen and we can call it is one of the window we can call it is a one of the window so units could be inches feet meters kilometers light years etc so window refers to the area in the word space or word coordinate that you wish to project onto the screen so on this screen this ppt is visible so i want to project my uh, whatever the image whatever the content on this window the window is often centered around the origin but need not necessary it is centered around the origin you can observe here one window is shown specified with x and y coordinate so here the window is shown here in this di uh, diagram so this window is specified with the word coordinates x and y coordinates so x mean y mean you can see here it is x mean y mean So x mean y mean so it indicate the x mean and y mean of this window. So this is my window where I am going to display a smiley image. So x mean y mean indicate the minimum value of x. It is here. Minimum value of y. It is here, and that is x max and y max. So that is my window where I am going to display some image like a smiley image. Now, what is viewport? So, viewport, the area on the screen that you will map the window, the area of the screen, entire screen, where you are going to map the window, specified in the screen coordinates, U, V. So, instead of X and Y, here the coordinates used are U and V. So, indicating it is a viewport or the screen, area of the screen where you are going to display that particular window the viewport can take up entire screen or just a portion of the screen it may be the entire screen or just a portion of the screen so you can observe here if it is u and it is v coordinate then in the viewport it is here that is u mean v mean and this is u max v max simple example is that window and viewport we are using the code block okay so what is in the code block this is upper win one window it is divided in different windows like this it is a project showing the project window then here some menus are given file edit view etc then here you write your program code and here you can see the output window so in this way this entire window is divided into sub parts according to its functions okay so in this way the viewport can take up the entire screen or just a portion of the screen so in this example it takes from suppose it is from 11 u mean is 11 and uh, v mean is 21 while u max is uh, 70 or 71 and v max is 61 so in this way it's a viewport which is on the window screen displayed on the screen so you can have multiple viewports they can contain the same view of a window that i told that in the code block when you open the code, code block you can see different uh, viewports are there or different small small windows are there one is the project window one is the coding window one is the output window so you can have multiple viewports so these viewports they can contain same view or of a view or different views of the same window you can observe here different views are given here this is the first view this is the second view this is the third view in the same screen on the same screen three viewports are shown here so multiple viewports are possible on a single window now the next one 
need to suppose this window is available and we want to translate into the viewport the entire window we are going to different viewports display on that window so we need to translate that window in the uh, viewport so need to translate or transfer the points from the word view window to the viewport means this is our x min correct and this is y min what is x min in the x coordinate it is minus 2 point something okay we say 2.1 and what is y min it is minus 1.5 what is x max and y max okay x max is 3.1 something and y max is 2.5 now this window word window i want to transform it to the viewport on the screen that specify some portion of the screen so when i transform suppose i want to transform it here x mean uh, sorry you mean and it is now v min okay what is u min here 21 and v min is 11 v min and u max and v max it is u max is 71 and this is 61 means this window coordinates to minus 2.1 minus 1.5 x min y min i want to transform it to the u min and v min with 2161 and the same y coordinates uh, sorry this x max and y max 3.1 and 2.5 i want to convert it into the u max and v max transform into the u max and v max 71 and 61 means here we need to use the transformation that we have studied already in 2d and 3d transformation so using that transformation we can convert this x and y coordinate to the required u and v coordinates on the viewport so window to viewport mapping is the process of mapping or transforming two dimensional word coordinates means x min y min x max y max to the device coordinate now this is our device this lcd screen is a device so this process converting the word coordinate transforming the word coordinate to this device coordinate that is u min and v min u max and v max and that process is done with the translate scale and translate translate scale and translate that we use already in the method of 2d and 3d transformation now how this process actually work how we can transform this uh, word coordinate to the device coordinate or to the viewport coordinate we are going to see in detail with the steps translate scale translate so first is that translate see the same we have seen in the 2d translate the lower left corner of the window to the origin so whatever the suppose this is the original window we are going to transform it to the viewport so first translate the lower left cor corner of the window to the origin so translate it here so whatever the x mean y mean what we need to do minus minus so it translated to the origin scale the width and height of the window to match the viewport whatever the size of the viewport we want suppose i want this size of the viewport to match this viewport size what we need to do we need to scale it then apply the scaling here apply the scaling here so that that window whatever it match with the width and height of the viewport this is our viewport for example now this viewport we need to translate the corner okay so translate corner at the origin to the lower left corner of the viewport means it is translated here so we need to back translate it with u min and v min with u min and v min because now it is not x min and y min it is u min and v min it is u min and v min see once again translate the lower left corner 
of the window to the origin. So what we need to do minus x min minus y min translation tx and ty. Then whatever the width and height of the viewport according to we need to scale this window and next again reverse the translation whatever we have done in the first step. So for that again we need to use u mean and v mean values of the viewport. Now see mathematically how we can represent it. The first step. The first step translate the lower left corner of the window to the origin. Okay. Lower left corner. What is lower left corner? X mean and Y mean. Translate it to the origin means for that we need to make it minus. So Tx and Ty translation factors are minus X mean and minus Y mean as I show you in the showed you in the previous PPT. So whatever the port translate that sorry window translate it to the origin. For that use X min and Y min minus X min minus Y min as a Tx and Ty translation factors. Okay. So that is the first step completed here. Now the next step. Scaling. What we need to do here? We need to scale this one, this window according to the viewport width and height. According to the viewport width and height. So, viewport width and how, height, how we can define? By using u max minus u min. Means what is this is u max and this is uh, u min, this is u max. So, that is our width. So my u max minus u min means our width. So u max minus u min that is our width. And what is our height? V max. This is maximum of this V and minimum of this V. So V max minus V min is our height of the viewport. So accordingly we need to scale it. So for that we require x max minus x min and y max minus y min. So scaling factor how to find out the sx and sy? sx is equal to u max minus u min divided by x max minus x min. What is x max minus x min? This part. x max minus x min. And this height means v, y max minus y min. Okay? We are going to scale this width and this height into this width and this height. And for that Sx is this width divided by this one and Sy is this height divided by this one. Y max minus Y min. So in this way we calculate the or identify find out the scaling factors Sx and Sy. That computation is required. Next, third step, again we need to uh, translate it to the origin. So, if the lower left corner of the viewport, now it is uh, converted into the viewport. If the lower left corner of the viewport is already at 0, 0, we don't need to uh, take the step number 3. Because already the lower left corner, uh, sorry, corner is at 0, 0. So, Already it is shifted to the origin, not necessary to the take third step. But if it is not at the origin, then we have to take the translation factor as a plus now. Tx is equal to u min and Ty is equal to v min. As we done in the simple way of translation scaling and again translation. So translate it to the origin scale it according to the viewport size and then again translate it back to the original position or try to make it at the position 0, 0. If it is already at position 0, 0, not necessary to 
perform the step number three. Now see it with this mathematical notation again. So first translation is there. First step minus x min minus y min. Second step is scaling. That is s x s y. This is t x t y. This is second step. And third step again translate with the values u min and v min as the t x and t y. So as we already see in the transformation, how we write the transformation matrix for two D zero one zero zero one with homogeneous coordinate. It is for homogeneous coordinate, and this is t x and t y. That is the standard transformation matrix for translation. This is the standard transformation matrix for translation. Similarly, here in the third step also we are going to perform the translation. So this u min and v min is the values of t x and t y, and the scaling. So scaling this one first s x and this is s y. These are homogeneous coordinates. S x and s y. Scaling through x axis, scaling through y axis. Here it is zero. Here it is zero, and all these are, all these two are zero. The standard scaling uh, matrix and standard transformation matrix of two D with homogeneous coordinates. We put these values here in this transformation matrix. So if we perform this multiplication together. Then the result is like this. Means first multiply. We know that multiple transformation. How we can apply? First multiply this one with this one. Then whatever the result, multiply it with this one. Then we will get the entire transformation matrix together. Multiple transformation we can group together. So after calculation, this is the transformation, entire transformation matrix. Whatever the points are there, window points. Sorry, x and y. These are multiplied with this factor. Entire transformation matrix. X mean, y mean, u mean. All the values are put here, and the homogeneous coordinate is one. After multiplying the previous one, I am not here multiple doing the all the multiplication or the in between steps. The direct result is shown here. So that is the transformation, entire transformation matrix for any point window point. So the example is shown here. Window in word coordinate. This is x min, uh, y min, x max, y max. First, we need to translate it to the origin. So it is now at the origin. Okay, by using minus x min, t x is equal to minus x min, and t y is equal to minus y min. Then whatever the scale, convert it into this scaling. Size, width, and height. So, how to convert that? I told you, x s x is equal to u max minus u min divided by x max minus x min, and s y is equal to u max uh, v max minus v min divided by x um, y max minus y min. And once it is again translated back to the original position by t x is equal to plus u min, and t y is equal to Plus v min. So now it is at the position where I required the viewport on in this on this screen, on the device screen. Device may be any kind of device. It may be this uh, your TV screen. It may be your computer screen. It your mobile screen. Uh, screen any kind of device screen. It consider. And this window to viewport is used everywhere normally. But what technique behind it that we are studying here? How actually it perform? That we are studying here. So these are the three steps uh, done here for window to viewport transformation. Now consider.
consider the example that window is equal to win, in window x min y min is equal to minus 3 minus 3 it is shown here in this uh, diagram x min y min it is minus 3 minus 3 minus 3 minus 3 and x max y max is equal to x max is 2 and y max is 1 that is our original window that we want to convert it into the view port. So when we convert it into the view port, what u mean and u max, v max and v mean we uh, sorry uh, we require that is 1030 means here it is 10. Uh, sorry, u min is 30, u ma uh, v min is 10, u max is 80, and v max is 30. Suppose these are the coordinates, window coordinates and view port coordinates. Now applying the uh, transformation, first translation, scaling, and then again the translation. This matrix transformation matrix is there. Now I am going to put that values here. I am going to write the values again here. What is x min, y min, minus 3, minus 3. What is x max, y max? It is 2, 1. That is window coordinates. Support coordinates are U min, V min, that is 1030, and U max, V max, that is 8030. Now put the value in this. And I am going to calculate the P dash. I write it here. P dash is equal to. Put the values X as it is. X value is not there. X minus X min minus minus 3. Okay. Multiply with U max minus U min u max minus u mean 80 minus 30 divided by 2 minus minus 3 x max minus x mean and then plus u mean what is u mean 30 next y minus y mean y minus minus 3 multiply with v max minus v mean v max minus v min 30 minus 10 and divided by y max minus y min 1 minus minus 3 plus v min that is 10 and 1. Okay, now complete this one. It is equal to x plus 3. Multiply with 50 divided by 5. So it is 10 plus 30. Then y plus 3. 20 divided by 4. So it is 5 plus 10 and 1. Now try to simplify it. It is equal to 10x plus 30 plus 30. Then 5y plus 15 plus 10 and 1. Which I can write like this. 10x plus 60. 5y plus 25. And then 1. That is the P dash transformation matrix. Now when we put the values of x and y here, we will get the coordinates in viewport. 
whenever we put the values of x and y here we will get the values of viewport now see here with the values of viewport some examples the same is shown here with the ppt after solving we will get this result 10x plus 60 5y plus 25 and the 1 so that is our p dash correct that is our p dash now here some points we are going to see left eye suppose left eye it is on the window at which position it is left eye well, at which position it is web i see it is uh, uh, minus one at x axis and y axis it is not minus one it is less than minus one so i see it is minus 0 0.8 okay where it is in the window now in the viewport where it is available i will calculate it with the help of this equation put x is equal to minus 1, y is equal to minus 0 0.5. So, it is, I write, so 10 minus 1, multiply with the minus 1, plus 60, comma, 5y plus 25, 5 multiply with minus 0 0.8, plus 25 so i when i calculate it minus 10 multiply with x sorry plus 60 so 10 multiply with minus 1 minus 10 plus 60 and it is for you multiply with 0 0.8 means it is minus 4 plus 25 so it is 50 21 Miss left eye is at position minus 1 minus 0 0.8 in window. Now check whether it is in the viewport at the same position 50 and 21. So you can observe at x it is at 50. At x it is at 50 and at y it is at 21. At 21 nearby. So we convert this window to this viewport we convert this window to this viewport now I take another example suppose I take here x mean y mean also you can check it is converted directly left eye now take another example top of the head so where it is top of the head top of the head it is from here it is top of the head so you observe that top of the head is minus uh, sorry huh, minus 0 0.5 and plus 0 0.5 correct this is x and this is y minus 0 0.5 and plus 0 0.5 on the y axis now apply this with this equation. So 10 multiply with minus 0 0.5 plus 60. So it is equal to minus 5 plus 60. Minus 5 plus 60 which is equal to 55. And put y value here 10 multiply with 0 0.5 plus 25. So it is 5 plus 25, 30. Means this top of the head which is in the window at position minus 0 0.5 and plus 0 0.5 at viewport it is at which position 55 and 30. So observe whether it is at 55 as at x coordinates and here on the y coordinates it is not actual 30. 5 multi sorry I make here mistake 5 5 multiply so it is 2.5 uh, plus 25 so it is 27.5 so you can observe here 
this head is at 27.5 at y axis so when it is converted from viewport or transform into the viewport to the uh, sorry window to the viewport all the coordinates are changes these are some example in this way you can observe whether this p is whether this p is correct by taking some examples you can take this right eye you can take this one you can take this one or check whether it is at the correct location in the viewport so in this way this window word window is transformed into the viewport which is on the device screen and this method or this technology is required everywhere wherever we use the images and the videos so advantage of viewport transfer viewing transformation we can display the picture at device display system according to our need and choice means suppose on this entire screen i want to display the picture only here so the, in that case i can use this transformation from window to viewing or viewport transformation you can say it 